doing fine welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber but if you're new here you are welcome and please do not leave this channel without subscribing subscribe and when you subscribe remember to click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video guys have you ever been at a point whereby you have given up on love you no longer care about love you don't believe in love in fact you are fed up things are here <laughs> And you tell yourself that I think love isn't for me. Maybe it is for other people to enjoy it. And at that point, you tell yourself again that I am going to concentrate only on me and people close to me, maybe your parents or your kids, and that's all. But love, it is a no, 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 no. <laughs> and you act like you don't care you don't believe in love anymore in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you a very beautiful love story of a lady who had given up on love but she found love at that point whereby she was fed up like she no longer believed in love but she found love do you want to know how did she find love watch this video till the end and i'm going to be doing my makeup as usual so stick here let us do this makeup together and enjoy this beautiful love story for the face primer i'm using kiko milano face primer it is a very very nice face primer and it has got a very 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 sweet smell <laughs> i really like the smell of this primer so guys i have met this girl because she was my neighbor her name is michelle actually guys i met michelle when she was a student at the university and where i used to stay was near the university she used to study and it's because michelle did not live at the university campus she lived a place near the university and that is when I met Michelle for the eyebrows I'm going to be using something new <laughs> to you this is a tattoo bra a peel of tint by Maybelline I have had this for so long I hope it still works <laughs> it's been a year now So this is how it is inside. So we became friends with Michelle and you know as as ladies as women we always talk you always talk. So and sometimes I could visit her she could also visit me. So Sometimes I could cook, it's me who could cook, and the other times Michelle could cook, so we used to visit each other, guys. I have to use this small mirror so that I can see what I'm doing, otherwise it's gonna be a mess. But guys, this thing is not working. I don't know. Anyways, let us continue. We will see, we will see guys, we will see at the end what happens. So, as I told you, uh, we became good, good friends guys. We used to talk a lot, share a lot. And Michelle did not have a boyfriend. At the time I got to know her, she did not have a boyfriend. Guys, these eyebrows are gonna be a mess. Now let's go on. She had no boyfriend, and when I say a boyfriend, I mean uh, someone they like they're in a love relationship. No, but Michelle had a guy. Michelle had a guy that she used to talk about when we are together, but. 
she could tell me he was just a friend, you know. And it was so funny because she used to tell me that this guy is so funny and he makes her laugh a lot. She enjoys his company. So she used to tell me, you know, I really like this guy. He's so funny. He makes me laugh a lot. And this guy was called Arnold. Because that is the name of the guy. So time went by and one day Arnold came to visit Michelle and Michelle introduced me to Arnold. I was like, hey, get to meet Arnold because <laughs> we talk of Arnold a lot. So I greeted Arnold. He was a cool guy, a very quiet one. You know, those quiet guys <laughs> that don't talk a lot. That is uh, my first impression when I saw Arnold. So it was it was in the evening, I remember, when Arnold came. My gosh. <laughs> I don't know these eyebrows, they look so funny. <laughs> to be honest, Michelle was so so happy around Arnold. So that day ended and that is when I got to know Arnold. So guys, it passed three months after I have met Arnold in person <laughs> and it was time for holiday and Michelle's parents were not living in the city where we used to live or where Michelle started. They were living a bit far in the village. So Michelle had to go to her parents at that period of the holiday. Michelle stayed with her parents Still the holidays were over and she returned but when Michelle returned she did not look happy and I was wondering what is going on because she was a very positive girl always happy <laughs> full of energy but that was a different Michelle and at some time I decided to ask her you know if you have your friend and you see your friend doesn't look happy or something has changed you have to ask her and that is what i did i asked her she told me uh i'm going to the university now but when i return i'm going to tell you the whole story what is going on and what happened <laughs> so uh i remember i had taken my dinner and and michelle knocked on my door i opened she came and we started talking she told me that uh, you know what I have failed my parents I have failed my family my siblings because she was the firstborn in the family she was the firstborn so she told me that uh, the reason I'm saying that I have failed my family my siblings my parents it's because I am pregnant. I was like, what? <laughs> and at that age, she was 24 years old. So I told her, oh my God. <laughs> you know, it shocked me a lot because I knew Michelle did not have a boyfriend. So <laughs> how did that happen? And she told me, do you know who is responsible? I told her, no. She told me it is Arnold. I was like, what? Arnold? I thought Arnold was just your friend. She told me, yes, he was just a friend, but things changed and we have been uh, seeing each other for quite some time now and I'm pregnant, two months old, but I am very disappointed at myself. I don't know how my parents are going to react about this provided that the family where Michelle is from isn't a well of family it is those normal family whereby 
the salary of the father because it is the only father that was working but the father saved a lot to make sure that this girl studies this girl reaches the university so that she can have a very good future bright future so michelle was really really disappointed at herself but again she was happy that she's going to be a mother so guys i've decided that i'm going to highlight my eyebrows but normally <laughs> we wait till the eyebrow tint dries so that we can peel it off but it's going to take a long time and because i want this makeup to finish with this video so i'm going to highlight and when it dries up i'm going to peel it off but my makeup will be done so let's keep on with our story so guys michelle's story really made me think a lot because i was imagining of the parents you know our african parents you take your girl to school and in the end that that is what happens they really get very disappointed i really felt very bad for michelle but there was no way to help her i had no any way of helping her than telling her that she shouldn't worry right now you should just think of your baby in your belly <laughs> you know those encouraging words because she was at the point whereby she was feeling very very down feeling like she has failed everyone in her family so time went by and one day michelle's dad was coming in the city where we were living <laughs> for work and called michelle that i want to meet you because the pregnancy was growing michelle never wanted to go and meet the dad she was like if he sees me maybe he's gonna know yes the pregnancy was still little i think uh, almost three months but she told me that my dad might know and michelle also told me something that really made me feel very bad about the dad that she was her dad's favorite you know that kind of a relationship they had a very very close relationship her dad believed in her her dad really really loved her and that is why michelle was so down guys so Michelle told me, I'm not going to meet my dad because uh, he might know and I don't want to see him hurt. I told her, what are you going to tell him? What excuse are you going to give him that you don't want to meet him? And she was like, I don't know. Oh, I might go. I'm going to look for a very big t-shirt <laughs> and I wear it so that he cannot notice that I am pregnant. So I told her, that might work <laughs> so michelle decided to go and meet her dad she went they talked with her dad and do you know what guys her dad discovered that she was pregnant too bad <laughs> he discovered guys he discovered that michelle was pregnant and at that point michelle you know if you love someone if you truly truly love someone let it be a, a relationship between uh, a man and a woman or even a fatherly relationship if you really really love someone it is hard to lie on them you cannot you cannot lie on someone you love so Michelle couldn't lie to her dad. She had to accept that, yes, I am pregnant. I am pregnant and she told the dad the whole uh, situation, but she told the dad that Arnold is a good guy. 
is going to take care of her and the baby. The dad shouldn't be worried a lot. But you know, as a father, he was disappointed, guys. Very, very disappointed. Michelle told me that her dad cried. You know, men don't cry very easily, but Michelle's dad cried after Michelle had told him everything that, yes, I am pregnant. He cried bitterly. And I can feel the pain of the dad, you know. Yes, Michelle was 24 years old. She was at the university, but, uh, you know, parents don't plan things like that. Parents plans, they always plan. You go to university, you get your job, then you find a boyfriend, then you start a family having kids. But when it doesn't happen that way, they really, really hurt. And that is what happened, guys. The dad told Michelle, the dad told Michelle that I am very disappointed and don't you ever come home. Don't you ever come home. Uh, I don't want to see you ever again. So the dad was really, really disappointed, guys. But Michelle knew, Michelle knew from the start. That is why she was sad. So Michelle returned back home and she wasn't happy about that, but she had no choice because she was ready to become a mother. Nothing could change her mind. And she told me, you know, all this has happened, but what I thank God is Arnold is a good guy and he truly truly loves me so everything is going to be fine something else you need to know is that michelle was in her last year at the university same as the boyfriend but due to pregnancy uh, complications because michelle started getting sick she was even given a bed rest so she had to, to stop going to the university. She told me she'll continue with her studies when she delivers her baby, uh, when the baby maybe is a year. The boyfriend finished his studies. He graduated that same year that uh, Michelle was supposed to graduate too. Their relationship continued uh, well. Michelle was a Muslim religion uh, but the guy was a christian he was so religious the guy was really really religious and made michelle uh, convert her religion so she became a christian they started going to church and they are going to this one pastor in tanzania and uh, I remember one day I went with Michelle to this church. <laughs> you know, we we're friends, so <laughs> I could just uh, agree with whatever she tells me because we are friends so that I don't disappoint her. So I remember we went to that church one day and afterwards uh, I did not go back to that church. Um, I'm a Christian. I go to church. Uh, but it wasn't the, the same church that I used to go. It was a different church where Michelle used to worship. So when I stopped going to that church, do you know what happened, guys? <laughs> the boyfriend told Michelle that uh, you need to stop uh, the friendship with, with her if she's not uh, worshiping the same church that we worship, you should stop that relationship. 
because uh, that makes her uh, she, he, he called me people of the world that makes her people of the world <laughs> so Michelle stopped communicating to me the friendship uh, like ended we used to only say hi hi and that's all remember we're neighbors <laughs> <laughs> but um, I really wanted to know why Michelle stopped talking to me <laughs> but um, I asked her and she told me guys she told me the truth that it is the boyfriend that told her to stop talking to me because we don't worship the same church so our mind our relationship wasn't good because I'm the people of the world <laughs> So I don't know, maybe the guy was people of heaven. <laughs> I don't know, Michelle, I'm sorry. I know you might be here watching this. <laughs> I know he's the father of your, of your kids. So guys, uh, the relationship ended and what happened next, they shifted to where I was living. They went to, to, to another place to live. They went to live to another place, guys. They left, they left, they left me there. <laughs> Michelle left me alone. And the time for Michelle uh, to deliver her baby arrived and she delivered twins, guys. <laughs> she delivered twins, a girl and a boy. That was really, really good. <laughs> I used to like twins. I don't know why. <laughs> is it all uh, ladies or it is only me <laughs> that when you are not yet a mother, you dream of having twins? <laughs> so I was so happy for Michelle that she got twins. And I even went to see the twins with gifts. And uh, Arnold wasn't around. But when Arnold arrived, uh, they had some kind of a conversation that Arnold was talking in a very bad tone to Michelle, which made me very angry. <laughs> I got so angry. I was like, why is he talking like that to her? Why? But you know, <laughs> you, can't, you can't do anything. Uh, it's their life. It, um, it's their relationship, <laughs> their family. So I left and from there, I also shifted to where I used to stay. So it was no longer near where Michelle was living. So we lost contact completely. So let me check if these uh, eyebrows are dry or not. Oh my God, guys, not yet, not yet dry. Do you see? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation. So I lost contact with her and uh, and I haven't met Michelle for 80 years now. 80 years has passed since I met Michelle. But I gained her contact last year, so we started communicating again. And that is when she told me uh, the whole story of what happened after. So Michelle told me that uh, when the babies were six months, one day Arnold woke up and told Michelle that I no longer want to continue the relationship with you, we should break up. Can you imagine, guys? Can you imagine someone that you went to an extent of changing your religion, someone that made you stop your studies, has changed the whole of your life, then is telling you that let's break up. When you have two babies, of six months little babies of six months he's telling you to break up how can that happen 
I really, really uh, got so angry again at this guy because you don't just break up with someone just like that. So the guy left her. The guy told her that I don't care about uh, who will pay the rent. If you like, you can just give these twins to my mother, the mother of the guy. Or you can stay with them if you want, but I no longer want to stay in this relationship. She told me at that moment, she regretted everything. She told me at that moment, that is when the regrets came, started coming into her mind that she was regretting. Why did she believe in him? Why did she go ahead and get pregnant? But you know, it has happened and you have the kids already, so you have to think of your kids. So what Michelle did, guys, I always tell you, family is everything. Family? <laughs> family is everything, guys. People can turn their back on you, but your family never. So at this time, Michelle had to go to her parents and talk to them, uh, ask for forgiveness and uh, ask to stay with them because she was not able to pay the rent. She wasn't able to take care of the twins. So the only solution was to stay with the parents and the parents accepted. <laughs> they had no choice. It's their daughter <laughs> and the grandkids. You can't just throw them out, no. So the family took in Michelle and started living with Michelle until the twins turned one. That is when Michelle decided to return back to the city alone so that she can finish her university studies and also find a, and also find a part-time job while studying so that she can take care of her twins. Remember, Michelle's family was not well off. So adding the twins to the family was a kind of a burden. So Michelle had to do whatever she could do so that she can take care of her twins. Eventually, guys, Michelle graduated. So when she graduated, uh, she continued doing these small businesses and also um, started looking for a job. Michelle studied finance at the university, so she got a job at the bank. So she was so happy that she has got a job at the bank and everything is going well. But guys, what was missing in Michelle's life was the love life. Because at that point, she had given up on love. She told me even if the guy could be potential, she did not care at all. She never wanted anything to do with men. She actually hated men a lot. The only things that Michelle cared a lot at that point was the twins and her job. That's all. She never cared about relationships. She never cared about love. She told me I had lost hope on love. So it wasn't something that I was thinking about. And talking about having relationships, it wasn't my thing at that time. If I wanted to meet a guy, I could just go out, maybe clubbing, I meet someone. We do things there. <laughs> And when I finish, I return back to my house alone. So guys, as Michelle was walking, she told me one time uh, they had stationed a tent at the airport. They wanted uh, clients who arrive so that they can uh, talk to them, convince them so that they can open bank accounts. So
so they had stationed their tent at the airport so that day it was Michelle and her colleague there were only two at the airport and they are talking to different clients as as always and um, one guy came and this guy was a white man <laughs> he came to the tent and because Michelle's colleague was talking to another client so Michelle had to attend to this white guy a client she had to attend to him so she started talking to him telling him uh, the products that the bank has she explained everything all products she told me she talked to that guy for at least 30 minutes explaining to him uh, how everything works the bank the products how they are what they have uh, to offer their client so she told me Bella I talked for 30 minutes with this guy and uh, when I finished and when I finished I asked him so are you opening an account the guy told her that no in fact I have an account uh, with another bank which offers even more good things than you <laughs> Michelle told me I was very angry <laughs> I got so disappointed at this guy because he made me lose my time but of course she couldn't tell this client that I am angry why did you make me waste my time if you <laughs> never wanted to open an account again he might be a future client so <laughs> you have to you have to pretend like okay no problem so next time like that so when when Michelle finished talking to this guy this guy uh, went to Michelle's colleague she had finished talking to to the client but Michelle had jumped to the next client because this one was not interested in opening a bank account so Michelle start, started talking to to the other client as Michelle was talking to the other client this guy was talking to Michelle's colleague what they were talking about Michelle did not know so when this guy left Michelle's colleague told her that you know what this guy is interested in you she was like what guy the other guy the white guy <laughs> Michelle was like ah just leave me alone <laughs> Michelle did not want to pay attention to what the colleague is telling her. She ignored everything that the colleague is telling her about the white guy. And uh, one day after... Ooh, after a week had passed of that uh, guy... Michelle received a call and she was like, who is this? Then the guy introduced himself and he told Michelle that I'm the other guy we met at the airport and Michelle was like, ah, you, tell me, uh, how can I help you? Because Michelle thought maybe the guy wants to open a bank account but again Michelle was surprised like how did this guy get my number 
So Michelle talked to a guy and uh, asked him like, where did you get my number? Because she was shocked. How did this guy get her phone number? But a guy explained that it's your colleague who gave me your phone number because I really want to be your friend. So Michelle at that point, he was like, maybe I should be his friend. Maybe he might be a client. You know, that friendly relationship. So in the end, Michelle accepted to be this guy's friend and they started uh, seeing each other. Uh, she told me they used to meet at the restaurant, talk, talk for a very long period of time. And uh, this guy could tell Michelle that, you know what? I really love you. I really want to get to know you more. I really want us to have a relationship. But Michelle <laughs> told the guy that just forget it because uh, for me, I don't believe in love. Yes, we can be friends, but <laughs> telling you that uh, I'm going to fall in love with you, no. But this guy really loved Michelle. It was love at first sight, guys. At the moment this guy saw Michelle, it was love, 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 love. That is the only thing this guy saw. <laughs> guys, let us control our eyebrows if they are dry. <laughs> guys, I told you. See? Not dry yet. Nothing, guys. I'll just leave them like this. And maybe uh, if you want a video of a peel off tattoo bra, then I can do a separate video. Uh, I think I'll have to buy another tattoo bra. <laughs> We apply the lipstick powder but for this guy all his actions he showed Michelle that he is really serious and he wants Michelle to be his girlfriend so he did all he did so that he can try to change Michelle's mind <laughs> to fall in love with him <laughs> Michelle continued uh, like your friend, you're my friend, you're my friend. But in the end, guys, Michelle fell in love with this guy. And <laughs> they started seeing each other as a couple, a boyfriend and a girlfriend. <laughs> the guy won Michelle's heart and things really went so well. Michelle told me that this guy could uh, go to her office where she was working to, to pick her up every day. I, this guy could make sure that he arrives on time. So everyone was like, oh, Michelle, you've got a white guy. <laughs> Michelle's colleagues who did not know the guy, um, and this guy was working in Tanzania, so he was there uh, for work. He was living there actually. So everything continued to be so good and it reached at a point whereby Michelle decided to introduce uh, him to, to the parents and the twins because uh, she was really convinced that this guy is the one even uh remember michelle never believed in love but at that point she had forgotten everything uh she got healed all her wounds <laughs> about love so she was in love again and she and she believed in love again she gave it a second chance so the parents were really happy that their daughter found the right guy. So time went by and the relationship continued to be strong and stronger. 
and what happened guys this uh, Michelle's boyfriend this new boyfriend the white guy his time working in Tanzania had uh, almost reached an end so he was supposed to return back to his country uh, he was from France so they had to get married so that they can come together and live together in France uh, everyone was there so after the wedding they had to start the visa processes of her coming uh, to France with her husband and of course with the twins right now as we are talking Michelle is in France with the twins and she's so happy <laughs> Michelle, congratulations and thank you so much for sharing this story with me so that I can share it with my subscribers of what I am doing right now. Uh, your story has really touched me and I am so happy for you. I wish you all the best. And this story, guys, is teaching us to never give up on love. I know you might be at a point whereby you no longer believe in love and you think that maybe i should just concentrate on my life on me but with no love there is no life so do not give up keep on hoping that you will find true love just like michelle look what happened she was abandoned with her twins and she thought that it is the end i hate all men but it wasn't the case she found love so you too can find love keep on hoping pray to god that you find the right man for you i know he is there waiting for you <laughs> it is just a matter of time god has created someone special for you someone who will love you for who you are just like michelle because some women in some cases they think that if they have kids then it is impossible to find love i know it might be difficult but if you find someone who truly loves you who really really wants you he will take you with your kids trust me guys it is not impossible it is possible you just need to believe it believe in love keep hoping keep praying and don't curse on all men this man that hurt you might be his behavior it doesn't mean that all men are bad not at all they are good men there is that special man that god has created for you and the time is coming he will get to you <laughs> so i'm not just giving you hope guys believe it it is possible if it happened to michelle why not you ask yourself that thank you so much guys for watching this video till now i really appreciate your time i know sometimes my videos can be so long especially story times but we have a lot to learn from these stories that is why i take my time to tell you the whole story of how it is so like this video if you've liked it share it with your friends family everyone that you think is going to love this story and enjoy it and learn something watch my other videos too i have a lot of stories if you love stories here is the right place go and watch those stories even other videos <laughs> don't forget to subscribe if you haven't i love you so much you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao Mwah.